a good day and thanks for watching another one of my videos here I many as you know I, I spend a lot of time in, in trying to figure out the best ways to get nomenclatures and markings and decals on models and um, I've always liked the idea and the easy use of uh, water slides but uh, the problem is with the water slides is we end up with this clear carrier around the decaled images and let me pull this up to the camera here you might be able to see it better that's what we need to get away from in the past if you were painting something on a flat surface you would have had to clear coat it first then put the decal on then clear coat it over it with like a flat to, to make it make that uh, carrier sheet there surrounding um, disappear I've come up with a way to get rid of that um, carrier after it's been put on in this in this shot here you can see the lift here certainly has it and the nose step doesn't I have removed the carrier from that after it was installed I did it also on the P51 landing gear plate I did not do it on the uh, Falkworth landing gear plate these panels here all these panels I'll show you here are coreplast this one was painted with flat white rust-oleum and this one was painted with flat white Krylon and this is just plain I think it was rust-oleum primer automotive sandable primer uh, as you can see I left the one uh, the, the no step water slide decals alone and the other one I used my process to remove the uh, carrier from around it so it looks just like it was a water uh, dry transfer I'll show you how I do this this is my special solution here we should say see let's see how hard this is let's hope this one works this decal doesn't look very good but we'll try it Just brush that on like that take a clean towel wipe it off just like that and you may have to hit it a second time I would rather do it a second time than then load it up with the chemical because the chemical could and does sometimes affect the image slightly so we're just going to do this real lightly the second time and go over it again with a rag yeah let me see if I can get a good view of that on there and you can see the carrier is gone we'll go ahead and do that now to the one above it Get that bit in. It's not too bad to first pass on that one. Carrier's gone. These are down still. Um, I have not tested them for glow proof or for glow, uh, being glow proof or not. I do know that they are gasoline proof to some degree. Uh, the paint on these core class panels have been allowed to dry for 72 hours. Anything less than 72 hours, the solvent can sometimes react with the paint, and you don't want that. But when it's cured for 72 hours, it doesn't seem to be any effect. Nothing comes off when the rag when you wipe it. I also had a uh, Ravel plastic model airplane kit sitting on the shelf and I wanted to try and check the solvent and how it reacts with the plastic in those kits well let's see if we can get a good shot of this or not I don't know if we're going to be able to or not nope I don't think so it's going to be hard to see anyway this is a Ravel uh, plastic model wing from an airplane kit and Hang on, I wish I could get that in better. There it goes. Uh, the no step, it was a water slide decal as well. As you can see, I removed the carrier from around it, and it looks like it's just been painted on there or a dry transfer. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to know how many people is interested in this uh, to see if it's worth my while pursuing it. Hopefully, by the first of the year, we'll also be able, if I get enough positive response, I'll also be able to print in white. So we'll be able to do white letters for the back, black backgrounds and things like that. Uh, once again, thanks for watching the video. Y'all have a good day.